everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the brand new tabs in Wix. Let's go ahead and get started. So recently Wix released a brand new element, which I am absolutely loving. And this is one of those elements that you don't need code for. So if you wanted to create something like this beforehand, you would actually have to use something called multi-state boxes and use some Velo code to make it function properly. However, if we come over to add, come down to interactive, you'll notice that we now have this area called tabs, which we have several different pre-designed options for. And if we just drag one of these out onto the page, you'll notice that we basically have this element with a container and maybe three different buttons. So if we go ahead and press preview and we can just kind of click through the, these different options and they show different content depending on which one you're clicked on. So this is something like I was mentioning before that you would actually have to use something called a multi-state box and use Velo code to make work. But now there is an element that basically takes care of that for you. And another thing I really love about this is it's really customizable. So if we go into the design, press customize design, not only can we do the menu container, but we can actually do the tabs themselves and we can design the containers as well. And each one of these different options here in the dropdown come with different settings that we can change. And I'm sure a lot of you are already pretty familiar with these. You know, we have the background fill, we have the text settings, we have the border, the corners, we can even add shadow if we wanted to. And then for tabs, we also have hover and selected, but then we have the menu container, which we can, you know, if we wanted to, we could add a fill and change it to blue, which in this case, it would look pretty ugly. So I don't know why you would want to do that. You can see that there are so many settings that we can easily adjust here. And I actually really, really like it. So as far as design goes, it's really customizable. Also, if we press layout, we'll see an option that we can have them left aligned like this, or we're going to have them stretch the full width of this container. If we have it set to default, we can align the items to the left, middle or right. So it's pretty customizable there. We can even adjust the space in between the tabs and we can adjust the space in between the tabs and container. So as you can see, it's very customizable. Then if we move down here, we can have padding and adds horizontal padding on the little tab buttons. Then we can also add vertical padding as well. So we can create some cool effects like that. But again, you probably don't want to do that too much. I think this looks pretty good just like that. But then down below, we also have how to display if the items don't fit, they can wrap, which we kind of saw doing this. So we can have them wrap or we can have them scroll. So the user would have to literally scroll a little bit. Um, so that's completely up to you. If you have it set to wrap, you can adjust the spacing in between the items here as well. Both I think are good options. I think personally, I would prefer the scroll. Um, I feel like that's more in line with like a lot of cool like designs on the web. But then once you're done designing the tabs, then you can actually come into the tab group themselves and you can design these containers however you want, which I actually really like. You can make them a lot bigger and just kind of adjust the design however you want. You can just delete the content. You can change the background here and just change the design overall. Then if you want to change tabs, you can just easily switch it over and adjust this design. And then same for the third one. Now, if you want to add more or remove some tabs, you just press manage tabs right here and you could easily duplicate, rename, set as default or delete tabs here in this little manage tabs menu. And one thing that I really like about these tabs is if I just go ahead and delete all of these different things here and I make this a little bit taller, I can come over to add, go to list, and I can actually add a repeater inside of this tabs right here. So let me make this a little bit bigger and I can just drag this repeater into this tab. And you'll notice that it basically allows us to put the repeater inside the tab group and it looks pretty nice. Now, what I will say here is 
for repeaters, I typically like to make my repeaters stretch the full screen. Repeaters in galleries and stuff like that are responsive elements, whereas this tab group is not. So if I select this repeater and I stretch it to the full width, it is now no longer inside of this tab. So I can move this and it's attached to the section. So if I grab this tab and I move it, you'll notice that this repeater is not moving with it. And that's because it is no longer in the tab group. So if I wanna put it back in, I have to remove the stretch and basically place it back into this tab. So that that's literally, quite literally, the only issue that I currently have with these tabs is with things like repeaters and other responsive elements that I would like to stretch the full screen, I cannot do that. So if anyone from Wix is actually watching this and would like feedback, what I would absolutely love to see is if I come over to add elements and come down to interactive, if we could have a tabs full width. Over here, you know, under slideshows, we have box slideshows and then we have full width slideshows. So I think it would be great if we had a tabs or a full width tabs here as well. That would allow us to add repeaters that could stretch the full width of our artboard and utilize more of the screen. But besides that, I honestly do believe that this is a really cool feature. And I love that it's already just kind of built into Wix rather than needing to create multi-state boxes and use code to make it work. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.